Hello and welcome to my very first tutorial video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a multi-part video on how to add DOF links cabinet support to a future pinball table. Uh, this is so that you will be able to have all of your virtual pinball cabinet hardware uh, supported, whether it be your solenoids, your LED flasher lights, your beacons, your strobes, shaker motor, gear motor, blower fan, uh, red, green, blue, under cabinet lighting. Uh, I don't know how far in depth I'm going to go, but I'm going to basically uh, go through uh, the main basics uh, to give you a little bit of each so that you'll know how to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, I've loaded up. Uh, I'm going to be doing JAWS Ultimate Edition. Uh, this is uh, the, the ROM original table that was overhauled uh, by Slam Tilt. Uh, you know, those, those two make a great combination. So... Uh, I love their tables, so that's what I'm concentrating on, is doing a, a lot of the ROM and Slam Tilt tables uh, for now for getting DOFLink support. So uh, basically, uh, we're assuming you already have uh, DOFLINKS and uh, DOF, Direct Output Framework R3. You got both of those installed, ready to go, working, fully functional. Uh, I'm not going to show you in this video how to do that. I'm sticking sh strictly to uh, how to add... Uh, the support to a table uh, in the, the script of a table. So, uh, all right. So, uh, to start, we uh, loaded up uh, the table that we're working on, uh, which is JAWS. And uh, what you're going to be always referencing is uh, the DOF links guide. Uh, I'll, I'll always reference that for the, the newest updated information. Uh, so there's going to be a section down below. Uh, there's a whole bunch of information on this thing, but there's going to be a section down below. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Uh, if I want to DOF or DOF uh, a table, how do I do it? This is uh, where you're going to want to reference. Uh, this will give you all the initial stuff on how to get things going. And uh, I may go back and forth on this, but I kind of have my own stuff already done on another table so the nice thing is you can just download one of my tables and copy and paste a lot of the initial stuff from that table script over uh, that way uh, you don't have to type it all up or anything uh, so we'll close that down and uh, so the first thing we're gonna have to do well here here's what I'll do I'll, I'll do a side-by-side -side here uh, Alright, so the first thing we need to do is create a timer. Now myself, I prefer to uh, put my timers uh, on the translate just because there's usually not much there. Uh, and it, it'll make it easier for you to keep track of all your own timers that you may add in. So uh, I've just uh, added in that timer there. Uh, and according to this, we are going to set that timer. Uh, let me just find uh, the right spot here. Make sure I'm, I've got the right one here. As he uh, described here, you need to make sure you have your Doflinks VBS script copied over. And uh, we're going to be adding these first parts in. But uh, the first thing I need to do is get that timer. I just got to remember for sure what I need to call it here. Where are we? I know you're in here. Where are you? There you are. All right. So it's got to be a DOF timer. So we'll do that. And uh, this is the one timer you are going to have enabled. And we'll set it at 500, OK? So that's already done. Uh, and the other thing we're going to do is we're going to add uh, basically the, these first initial parts in uh, following the guide. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit easier by loading up uh, another one of my own tables. Uh, the last table I did here was Superman, so uh, I'll load that one up as reference. Drag it over here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the script for Superman. And I'm going to get the script open for the new table, JAWS. Okay, and what I like to do is I like to add in this DOF link section near the beginning of the table, right after the author's uh, notes and everything else. Uh, that way, uh, anyone who looks at this table and may want to update or mod anything, or even for yourself, 
uh, you'll have this information here. Uh, a summary and uh, the main devices that you support on this table is what I put in there. So what we need to look for is uh, this right here. Now, I'm also going to add this little section here, Dofflinks variables. Uh, we'll put that right near uh, the same area here, uh, just before uh, this section here. We'll add that in. That's where all our variables that we may add in to the table will go. But this is the line that you absolutely have to add first, or it, Dofflinks will not work without it. So just copy and paste that over. And again, you can consult the guide for doing all this as well, but uh, it's just as easy for me to do it like this. Now, th these are the other couple lines. You gotta look for the sub future of pinball begin gameplay. So you can see it right here, okay? Right off the bat, we've got it. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll make a few, uh, couple extra lines, and then we'll copy and paste these two lines over. Again, you'll see this in the Dofflings guide. Okay, so now we're gonna look for this other section here. Don't, if this looks like a lot, don't worry. <laughs> you'll be able to narrow it down by uh, seeing exactly the sections I'm looking for. Okay, so see user-defined script events. So this section here uh, is a section that includes uh, the Dofflings uh, timer all of this here now this is something extra i added and some of this stuff is extra stuff i added but you want all this stuff for the dofflinks timer which again you will find it uh in here on the dofflinks guide so for myself i'm just going to copy and paste this whole section over and i gotta fix uh, that gray color i know uh, i got uh my different spelling, you know, being Canadian, sometimes we get mixed up with this stuff. So so I'll, I'll make sure I fix that up because we're, we're going to change those colors later on. But Okay, so I'm going to look for that same section. Okay, now, as you're going to know, no, this is called something a little different, right? So it's the same idea. It's a subroutine, you know, that we need to put in there. So we're just going to plop it here, okay? Uh, some tables will have exactly the same definition, some won't. The bottom line is this is fine where it's at. Those ones above though, the previous entries have to go in those sections. So I'm going to put, just put this here and uh, before I forget, I'm just for now going to change that. Uh, I'm going to change these up later on. This is for the initial start of the table, but we'll get to that later on. All right, so those are the main sections that we have to have in there. Absolutely have to have those in or it will not work. Uh, and that should be it. So I'm going to close up, f f uh, Superman there. And now first thing you want to do is save now, save the table, but don't save it over top of, uh, your previous version of the table, you know, always save it as a separate version. Uh, so that's the initial setup. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try, uh, playing the table so that I can uh, take a quick look at uh, what mechanical stuff is on there because it, I always do the mechanical solenoid feedback first. That's usually the easiest and it's the most straightforward. And I'm doing this on my desktop, so uh, that's why uh, you're not seeing me do this on the cabinet. It's you know just easy for me to do the video this way. So I'm gonna add in all the feedback, save it, and then run it on my cabinet, you know, but uh, all right, so. We'll start it up. All right, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I caught it with the ball, the ball roller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll in. So here's the obvious things we're going to try to add support to. Now, right off the bat, the table loaded. So no errors or anything. So the parts I copied over are working correctly. Uh, so we have our flippers that we're going to be adding support in our slingshots. Now you can't see it, but down here, there's a, a kicker there. So you yeah, and right there, the drain, you're also gonna add support as well for that. So that anything that's mechanical that basically will hit or move the ball is what we're gonna add solenoid feedback to. So 
you got the drain, the kicker, flippers, uh, your slings, and then if you go around, you'll see there's another kicker inside here. Okay. And then, now you can't see them yet, but see these spots here? These are all uh, drop targets that will appear at different uh, modes in the game. Uh, so, another thing, all the bumpers here. These are also mechanical. Okay, so we're going to be adding feedback for that. And I know you can't see it, but uh, that, that uh, wire ramp there, uh, there's a kicker inside there as well. And there's one behind uh, the shark's mouth. Uh, so it's a good idea to know roughly how the game's going to play. Uh, before you actually start adding feedback. Uh, and sometimes there's hidden kickers that you can't quite see, but uh, that, that's the main stuff. So that's what I need to know for now. So now uh, we're going to exit back out. And we're going to get ready to add feedback to that. Uh, so we'll, uh, I'm gonna just going to take a moment here and get ready to do that.